My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can get dates and times in the right format from Excel to UI path. And this is a topic that causes a lot of problems for some of you. So I will show you this very easy guide to it. I have an Excel sheet here with three columns. I have date, time and date and time. In the date column, let's start with that and get that to a UI path. That is uh, formatted with the days first and the month and a year. Let us inspect the format. So I'll right click format cells and we can see that I formatted it as a date. It is formatted with uh, days, months and years. It could easily have just been the US format with months before um, days, but uh, I chose this one. So let me, and let's see what happens when we import this date into UiPath. Because what you'll do here is that, let me close this down. We'll go to UiPath and then we'll find an Excel application scope. We'll read our data into a data table. But first we will specify our workbook path. So click here. And then what you'll do here is that you'll find your Excel sheet. Mine is just on the desktop. And by the way, I'll include both this Excel sheet and the workflow. Uh, check the description below and you can download both. So uh, if you want to do it. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. So now we imported it. We'll tick, uncheck this visible. We don't need the operations to be visible. Then we will find a read range. Make sure it's still in the Excel activities here. So drag this guy in. We will read sheet one, that's fine. Our sheet name is named sheet one. And then we will output it to a data table. So go over here, press Control K, DT input. I'll call mine. You can call yours whatever you want. And we can even inspect it down here in variables that we created a variable of the type DT input. So far, so good. By the way, uh, we'll be creating some sequences. So let's rename our main sequence to main. It will al it's always best practice to rename your activities. I won't rename all our activities, but the sequence I will. So now we have our data in a uh, data table. We can iterate through each one of them and print out the dates and see the problem. So uh, we'll have a for each row here. Let me delete this body. So for each row in our data table, then I'll just write out the sorry, right line, and I'll just write the row, that's the current row, item. I'll write whatever in the date column, so that will be the cell between row and date, and then to string. Now you'll see what our data looks like, and why it, will, it is a problem. So we will run the workflow, and this one will just print out to the output panel of UiPath, but we will run and now we ran. We can go down to output and you can see that we now have our data in a format that we don't want. Now we want the, we got the month before uh, the day and we get uh, a time added here. So that's not what we want. We want to um, get the data in the format that we want. So, and this is because it's formatted as date time. So this is the default um, for date time. So what we'll do here is that we will close this one down and we will delete this right line because we won't need that anymore. So we will have a get row item. So we will get the current item. Uh, we will specify what row we will get. That will just be the current row like this. You could also have uh, specified it over here. Then the column name that will be date. We could also have specified the index and remember it's zero index. So this is column zero. And then we will output it to a value. And um, so whatever in that row and that column, we will output it to a variable. This one will just be control K and then GV for generic value date. Then you will need to go down to variables and we can see that it's formatted as a string, but we will need it as a generic value. So browse for types. Let me go in here. Generic value. Um, here. And then click OK. So now we are getting this and then we can format it. So uh, what we'll do here is that we will close this one down and we'll say format value. 
And it's important that this one uh, that we made this we make this change to a generic value, this GV date. You cannot do it elsewhere elsewise. So what do we want to format? Well, we want to format our generic value from up here, so GV date like this, and then we need to set the format. So we will format it as a date time. And now you can uh, specify your format. You can choose this drop down. There's a lot of predefined format. However, we will just choose it ourselves. And if you are not familiar with the date.net date time, then you can um, Google .net date time format and you will see a guide for that. But we will know that. And let's just uh, say that we want it in the same format as the Excel sheet. That will be days. And then we want month, months are our capital M's, otherwise it will be minutes, and then it will be year, year, year. So this one will get us the same format as Excel. If we wanted it with months before or days, then we will just do like this. However, let's have it as we have it in our Excel sheet, like this. But you can specify, you can specify all sorts of formats here. And now we will, um, let's have a right line, we won't be getting the clock, the time, which we were getting elsewhere. So this one we'll just write out GV date because we formatted it up here. Now let's run it. <clears throat> we will wait. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. Now we can go down to output and we can see that we have our dates nicely formatted. So uh, let's rename this sequence here. So rename date. And then we can, because we are done with that, we'll take the next column, that will be the time. So let's comment this one out, control D, and we can see here that it's commented out. Comment out just means that we will ignore everything in here. So now this one is ignored because we will drag in another sequence. And this one, remember to do it in the for each row. And this one will format our time. It will be the exact same case but uh, I will show you so uh, you'll get used to it. So now we will format our time. And again, we could uh, just inspect our data. Let's do that. So that one will be row item, and then we'll write out what's ever in the time to a string. And the reason that we, uh, you'll think that you will just get the dates and times directly from Excel, but it will be imported as objects here in our data table. So that's why we have to do this trick. Let us run it and then inspect the times. We will, um, in a few seconds, we can go down to our output and we can now see that it, it got, um, got formatted as a decimal. We cannot use that. So what we'll do here is that we will, uh, let me delete this right line. So first we will do exactly like we did before. We will drag in a get row item, like here. The data table row, that will be our row, like this. And then our column name, that will be time. Again, we could write out one up here because that's the second column. And then we will output it to a generic value. So control K, GV, time, like this. And we could um, have in a format value. Or we should have in a format value, sorry. And now we need to make sure again, go down to variables, that this GV time is not a string, but a generic value. And we can find it here because we searched for it before. So we can find it here like this. And what we'll do here is that we'll say generic value, remember to take the time like here, and we'll set the format. Again, choose date time. And now what we'll need to do here is that we'll have the hour, minute, seconds. That's how we wrote it in our Excel. And there will be a little trick here. Um, we are using the 24 hour format, so that will be capital H. If you only want it in H uh, in AM PM, then it will be small h. You can choose whatever you want, but uh, that's how we do it. So um, what we'll do here is that we will say um, H H big ones, then minute minute, and second second, like this. So now and then we can write out a right line, like this. And then we'll say GV time, like this. We could run it. And again, we will wait a few seconds. We'll wait a few more seconds. And now we can go down to our output and we can see that we have our time 
in a nice 24 hour 24 hour format so uh, we saw that case too let us first um, uh, this time sequence we will comment this one out control d or you can right click and choose comment out uh, disable activity sorry um so i'll just i like the shortcuts uh, control d by the way if you want to uh, comment it in then you can just press control e but we will comment this one out so now these two gets ignored we will drag in our last sequence that will be the date and time so rename date and time and by the way let's just uh, inspect our data again because i forgot or i didn't but you might have forgot what format it is in it's just a combination of these two and again it's formatted uh, like the time and the dates were so we can right click and format and we can see here that it's formatted custom it's days and then it's months and, and this one is it is in danish so sorry about that but this one will be years uh, that is uh, an age with a, a circle of it this is danish but this is formatted in um, this format uh, so days month year and then the 24 hour format but as long as it's formatted in a date time format then you will be good we can work with it in ui path in this case of course you can always work with excel data but this one will work with the date time so again uh, we don't want to write out the data you got to believe me but uh, we can uh, again write it out but then it will get formatted to the standard where month become uh, comes before days so now we will do the exact same thing yeah get row item and then what what row we want to get we want to get the row like here and the column name that will be date and time like this we will output it to a generic value so control k dv date and time i'll just call it go down to our variables yes it's the same procedure as last year so gb date and time and here in the variable type generic value like this so now we have a generic value then we will um, have a format value so drag this in that will be the gb date and time i'm going to take the right one and then we'll set the format so it will be a date time and then we can specify what we want i want the days first and by the way if you want instead of a forward slash we could have um, this one or we could have a dot or whatever but i'll keep it in the same format so days month year then we'll have the hours in 24 hour format minutes and seconds like this and then we can write out a right line so generic value uh, date and time here because we formatted it up here and now you will see that we will have it in a nice 24 hour format and with the days before the month so let me run this by the way if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and IPA we go to down to our output and we can see that we formatted the data exactly like we had it in the excel sheet so that's how you do it it's really easy if you have any comments please post them below i'll gladly uh, answer all those and um, if you have any suggestions for future videos just keep them coming have a good day bye bye